Yeah, that's just a straight, that's with a flange. Yeah. Then you add the echo on. Here the sound gets bigger, and then you put the compression. That's a compressor. Yeah. Play like message in a bottle was played like this. And could you just play that? So you can hear people can hear what it sounds like without any of the effects at all, without using this pedal at all. What would that then sound like? Well, it's different to like this. <laughs> Yeah, I spent about five years playing classical guitar. I don't think I can remember much of it, but I, I did put in a lot of time doing that. And it's come out in some numbers that we've played together. One song, Bring on the Night, is played with a, a sort mm -hmm. of a classical arpeggio. It's a little finger style thing. <laughs> relates like to some classical pieces like Via Lobos. So now from this giant pedal here, yes. which, uh, I'd like to go to this small blue box here. Ah. And do you tell me what this one does? Yeah. Well, this is the rolling guitar synthesizer. Here's the guitar. Here's you have the to have synthesizer. that guitar to go with it there. Yes, because all the controls are built into the guitar that operate this part of the setup. Um, this is the second one they've made. The first one was very nice, but not very easy to use on stage. It was too complicated. This one is great because it's on the floor and you can switch everything off and on with your foot. And it sounds like this. See, I like to use this pedal with it because it opens the, the filter yeah, it gives on it the foot. Yeah, reward. that's right. Is that, the, is, that, now, is that the effect that you used on Don't Stand So Close? That's exactly it. Did this, you use any of this with this as well? Uh, yes, I also use the pedal board in conjunction with this. I usually use the flanger and the echoplex with the synthesizer. And the guitar solo in the middle is played on this guitar. But to achieve the effects that is on the record, I use the duet switch here, which means that you can add an extra interval to any note you're mm. playing. And I like to tune the synthesizer, the guitar synthesizer, in fifths and then play strange chords as well. And then so you what effect does that give you? Well, you get a very strange sound. This is now, I've, I've just switched it into fifths. So, uh, <laughs> sounds like this. And what would that sound like without the fifths? Fifths is straight, it's a straight sound like this. You know, so... See, now this, this down here, this one switch will switch in any interval you want. So this is tuned in fifths now, so you get this. See? Unison. Do you ever press the wrong button? Usually, yeah. <laughs> Handy, with such a big pedal, having small feet, really, I suppose. Yes, I've actually... Uh, I'm out doing Rudolf Nuri over this thing. So tell me about... I want to know as do we all, about more of your influences, your guitar influences. Yeah. I mean, were you influenced like a lot of guitarists were by the blues? So, yes, I, I mean, was. what sort of blues guitar? If I say blues guitar, what would you break out right. into? One, two, three, four.
How about funk stuff? Are you into funk? Oh, yeah. Well, I think all three of us enjoy playing. We don't actually do much on record in funk, but uh, it is something that we like to play, this one. Actually, that's probably best left to James Brown, isn't it? Really, yeah, that's I think it does, yes. um, But how about, about in the meantime? Yeah. I mean, the 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 have you got other influences other than just guitarists? I mean, the keyboard players. Um, what? Well, you've got to. But... Oh, right, that's oh, right. But I mean, are that's they keyboard players, saxophone players? Do you find those a big influence on your guitar playing? Yes. Well, I listened to all sorts of musicians in the past. Uh, John Coltrane, I like very much. Still love to listen to. Ornette Coleman. Yeah. Um, how about jazz? Is that an influence in oh, your playing? Oh, always has been, yeah. Well, I started off really um, playing that kind of thing. That's the first thing I graduated towards. And then I moved out of that and played, and I've played rock music most of my life, but um, jazz music is something. Mm.